Good morning. The weather has probably been the most unsettled over the past 24 hours than we've seen in a number of days. We've got a strong cold front that's moving through the southwest of WA and that's actually triggered some severe weather. We've been seeing gusty winds and some heavy downpours as well. Meanwhile, a weak cold front has been clearing the southeast. It has brought through a few showers and has certainly caused some cooler conditions across Tasmania. But a little further north of that, this high pressure system has been dominating uh, much of Australia and allowing for some clear skies and some very warm temperatures. It's also been directing onshore winds for the Queensland coast though so we have been seeing persistent showers here but now we're going to start seeing a few thunderstorms coming through as well. We've got a trough moving through the upper levels of the atmosphere so showers and thunderstorms in the channel country are contracting eastward. They'll reach the far southeast of the state by this evening so for Brisbane we could see an evening thunderstorm so throughout the day across the central and southern interior as well we'll see some isolated showers and storms but thanks to those onshore winds the showers will continue for the east coast and if few of those will also get into the eastern interior. In Longreach we'll get to tops of 29 degrees with a possible thunderstorm particularly throughout the afternoon. Now for New South Wales some of those showers and storms do get down into the northeast of the state. Elsewhere it's pretty much dry conditions apart from in the far south thanks to that weak cold front that's moving through the southeast. We will get some showers just getting uh, across the border into southern parts of New South Wales. They'll be most frequent though across the western slopes of the ranges. Elsewhere it is very very warm temperatures about seven degrees above average for many places and this could bring us some record warmth uh, for this time of year for many towns across New South Wales. It's also been quite warm in Victoria despite that front moving through. We've had some showers but they've all been contracting eastward throughout the day. This afternoon though we could still see a few thunderstorms across northern parts of the state but we'll notice a bit of an easing trend in any showers elsewhere. Now for Tasmania we're seeing dry conditions for the northern areas. Elsewhere we are getting showers but by this evening they will ease right back contracting mainly back to just the far west and also the northeast of the state. The lawn system will get to a max of 17 degrees here with a little bit of cloudy conditions at times. Now for South Australia we're still getting some thunderstorms through the northeast of the state and also in the far south we've still got some light showers but everything is easing right back as that contracts a little further east as well temperatures here still remain above average and that has been the trend for a number of weeks now and it looks like that will continue for a good another five or six days to come. Now for Western Australia the weather has been very unsettled here. We've actually had severe weather in the southwest of the state. We've had thunderstorms bringing gusty winds and some heavy downpours as well. That will start easing back a little later on this evening and for Darwin we've got clear skies and sunny conditions also for Alice Springs. But let's see what's ahead for the week to come. In Brisbane we'll get some thunderstorms coming through by this evening. Showers will continue throughout the day and tomorrow we'll see the chance of a morning shower but then drier conditions for the rest of the afternoon. The weekend in fact is looking quite nice with tops of 27 degrees. In Sydney we've got another day of sunshine. 26 degrees is seven above average and those temps will remain well above average for the next week to come. We're likely to see our warmest May on record. It's also warm across Canberra. That's a few degrees above average and dry for the next five days to come. While across Melbourne we could see a couple of showers lingering into tomorrow morning and they will develop again in the afternoon or evening on Saturday night with tops of 17 degrees and a brief shower on Sunday. For Hobart tomorrow will be a cool one. We'll only get to 13 degrees again and showers will linger for the next few days to come. For Adelaide we're going to see drier conditions for your weekend but for Perth with some cold fronts moving through the southwest showers will continue across the weekend. Matt. Thanks very much, Amanda. Well, updating today's top stories now, and angry protesters have clashed with police at a university as students fight against the federal government's proposed education reforms. The streets of Thailand are being described as volatile after a military coup was declared. And firefighters have had a tough job on their hands battling two factory fires in Melbourne. And just before we go, we must say it's with great uh, amount of sadness that we say that was the final morning edition of 10 Eyewitness News. If you might indulge me, just a few very quick thank yous. I couldn't wrap up without thanking the, uh, the team of brilliant insomniacs who've worked tirelessly and feverishly to put this bulletin to air. Morning and early morning news over the past seven months, they have been brilliant. Special thanks must go to our producers, Reid and Georgie, who have done a tireless job. Uh, so that is 10 Eyewitness News for now. We will have updates throughout the afternoon and of course all the day's news at five thanks to the viewers too for tuning in